iOS Beta 11.7 has arrived and you should know the drill by now on the Video Gadgets Journal. Has that made any changes to the iOS built-in screen recorder? Let's take a look. Hello folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets Journal and just before we jump into this video, what do you think of my slightly modified background? I thought I'd add a few touches to it. Let me know what you think. Okay, we're on to iOS Beta 11.7 today hot off the heels of iOS Beta 6, which was last week, which is hot off the heels of iOS Beta 5 a week ago. So that's three beta updates in a space of two weeks. But has it made any changes to the built-in screen recorder, which is what we're interested in on the Video Gadgets Journal? And I'm gonna answer those questions in a series of frequently asked questions about the screen recorder. So let's move on to question one. Are there any new features or styling that we need to be aware of? And is the functionality the same as it was before? The short answer is no, but let's reacquaint ourselves with the whole recording process if you're not familiar with it. To add screen recording to any iOS device on iOS 11, go to Settings, then Control Center, followed by Customize Controls. Towards the bottom of the screen, you've got lots of extra features that you can add. Screen recording is one of them. So if I add it to my included list, Go back to home screen, swipe up from the bottom of the screen to get the control center, and you will now find this new recording button here. If I long press on it or force touch it, we have just two options. Those are to start recording and to turn on microphone audio if I want to. If I leave it off, it will just record internal system sounds. When I start a recording, it will do a countdown, as you can see there, three, two, one. And now it's recording. If I return to my home screen, the recording process is indicated by a red bar at the top. And to stop it, you can either go back to the control center, tap the red button there, or tap on the red bar and confirm the end of a recording. And when it does that, you'll get a notification at the top of the screen to say that the recording has been saved to your photos. We can jump straight there and find the new video recording. And that's pretty much the process of doing a screen recording on iOS 11. Because this was such a big issue to begin with when you recorded it in landscape and it squashed it all up into portrait, is that still fixed as of iOS at beta 11.5? I still might be as bad as I always was at Geometry Dash, but there's no more orientation issues, landscape recording, all is good. Apple's built-in iOS screen recorder has pretty much nailed it down internal audio recordings, so let's check that they still work perfectly. Yep, I would say audio and video lag is non-existent and it runs absolutely beautifully. When doing a screen recording with a microphone on, does it still fail to take the audio microphone, in other words my voice, into a video editor when I try and make some changes to the video? So the answer remains yes, it still cuts your microphone audio recording when you put it into a video editor, but someone has come up with an ingenious idea. Autonomous tweeted me the concept of simply screen recording your screen recording. So what I'm going to do is start a non-microphone audio recording of the previous screen recording which has my microphone audio recording in it because it's going to record the microphone audio recording as system sounds this time. Once you've finished the recording, you can go to a video editor, insert it into a timeline as usual, and then it should play your microphone audio like this. When doing a screen recording with a microphone on, does it still fail to take the audio microphone? Admittedly, this is definitely a workaround. We should hope that it will be fixed properly in the future, but for now, it will do. If you've been screen recording for any length of time and press the stop record button, is there a delayed reaction to when the recording actually stops? I'm starting a screen recording of Clash Royale here, which typically takes three minutes. This game actually went into overtime, so it was a four minute recording, speeded up obviously, but now the game's finished, I won. Let's stop the recording and see if there is any delayed reaction. Uh, 
nine seconds after I press the record button to stop the recording, the notification appeared. So there is still quite a long delay. Can you imagine how long it's going to be with 10 minute recordings? And is Airshow still completely broken in iOS Beta 11? Yep. So in summary, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that nothing has changed in terms of screen recording functionality since iOS Beta 11.5. At the moment we have this strange situation where we have a screen recorder that works perfectly with internal audio but then doesn't work perfectly with microphone recordings, which is the reverse of the situation we've had in the last two years basically, where Airshow has worked with microphone recordings but then internal audio ones have always been a bit funny. Now, if you've decided to download the iOS Beta 11 and you found anything new or interesting, do let me know in the comments below. As for whether you should upgrade to iOS 11, well, we're starting to get to a point now where it is fairly stable. If you want me to do a tutorial video on how to get iOS Beta Developer, let me know in the comments below and I might do a video. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now. Oh, and if you found this video a little pointless because nothing's changed, I do apologise, but I just want a complete record of all the different iOS 11 beta versions for my playlists.